This video is a quick introduction to the new MechQ Drawing Settings feature. In cooperation with Azvik Engineering, Real World CAD has developed this new feature for MechQ that will allow you to save MechQ module settings to your drawing files. Let's open a new drawing with a freshly upgraded version of MechQ installed. First we see this dialog box telling us that the default file will automatically be loaded when we open a new drawing and changes made to MechQ modules will be automatically saved to the default file. Let's check this box to avoid seeing this dialog each time we open a new drawing. If you're a veteran user of MechQ, you know that when you make a change to a MechQ module settings, the changes are automatically saved to a central file, which causes these settings to affect all drawings you edit with MechQ, whether new or existing. This system worked well, but had a few drawbacks, such as settings changes made in one drawing being used in every drawing open from that point on, regardless of what was used in that drawing the last time it was edited. Also losing all of your personal settings when upgrading to a new version of MechQ or AviCAD. Finally, the older scheme could cause some degradation of MechQ performance during high disk or network utilization periods. With this new system, when you open a new drawing, drawing settings for all MechQ modules are loaded into the drawing and saved in the drawing itself. Once the drawing is saved, MechQ will no longer look to this external file for module settings, but rather to the drawing itself for these settings. This new system was designed to facilitate consistency when using MechQ modules in different drawings with different drawing module requirements, such as 2D versus 3D. Let's look at how to control these new settings. If we click either the MechQ config button or the MechQ ribbon item, we open the MechQ config dialog box. Here we see these two new checkboxes. The top checkbox will automatically save any changes made while using MechQ modules to the default file we talked about earlier. This is identical to how older versions of MechQ worked. If you're a MechQ user that has one drawing standard for all of your drawings, such as an end-use manufacturer, or use MechQ for in-house drawings which use the same MechQ module settings for all of your drawings, leave this box checked. However, if you use MechQ for several different disciplines, have different clients with different drawing standards, have some drawings that are created in 2D and some that are in 3D, or drawings that use different plotting scales, or even have some drawings that are created in imperial units and some that are created in metric units, unchecking this box is likely the best option. Let's uncheck this box to disable the automatic writing to the default file. This next checkbox controls whether MechQ will prompt you for a settings file to use when a new drawing is open. Let's uncheck this box as well and see how it affects MechQ's behavior. But even if you decide to use MechQ with this option checked, watch this video and you will see some of the uses for this new portable drawing settings feature as all the features will be available whether this box is checked or not. Let's open a new drawing. Since the automatically load from file checkbox is unchecked, anytime you open any drawing or drawing template file that has not been opened by a MechQ version that incorporates this new feature, you will see this dialog box. It is telling you that there are no MechQ settings saved with this drawing file and give you two options. Use the MechQ default file or load your own custom file settings. At this point, you don't have any custom settings saved, so leave the Use MechQ Default Radio button selected and click OK. After a few seconds, the settings will be loaded and we're ready to start drawing. Currently, when a MechQ ships, the HVAC, structural steel shapes, and piping modules are all set to draw in 2D. In previous versions of MechQ, if I change these settings to 3D for these modules, all subsequent drawings would be set for 3D. But what if some of my drawings are in 2D and some are in 3D? and I don't want to keep changing the settings. This new feature is just what you've been looking for. First, let's set the HVAC, piping, and structural steel shape modules for 3D, and we'll make a few other adjustments to the HVAC and piping modules. First, we'll change the piping module to 3D, and then change the weld gap to 1 8 inch. Let's draw a pipe and see if the settings are where we want them. Next, we'll change the HVAC module duct size to 48 by 36 inches. Change the duct type to 3D and set the elevation to 12 feet. Let's draw a duct segment and see that the changes were where we want them. If we zoom out and check, we can see that the duct size isn't the default 6x6, 
and the elevation is indeed 12 feet as we specified. Next we'll set the structural shapes to 3D and select an H-pile shape for our drawing. Let's draw a column to check, then we'll save the drawing. Now each time we open this drawing, these settings will be exactly as we left them, regardless of whether the automatically saved to default file was checked or not. Since I left the automatically saved changes to default file unchecked, any new drawings would revert back to the original MetQ settings, which are 2D. The difference is, if the automatically saved to default file was checked, all subsequent drawings will now have the 3D settings applied, even if you want the drawing to be drawn in 2D. At this point, the new system may seem to be a little confusing, and it's like we're taking a step backwards. But let's see how to use this new feature to our advantage. With the advent of this system, we can make any or all settings for MetQ modules available in any drawing. We can even save our changes to the default file, and any time we open a drawing, the settings we save will be automatically loaded for us. Let's see how this can be done. Let's open our office building project. This drawing was saved with 3D pipe and duct, as well as 3D steel. The duct elevation was also set to 12 feet. What if we wanted to start a new drawing for the next floor? The MetQ default file is still set to 2D, since we left the automatically saved to default file checkbox unchecked so it would seem that we were out of luck. However, all we really need to do is export the module settings for the MetQ modules we'll be using on the second floor from this first floor drawing, and we're all set to go. The first step is to open any MetQ module or click the MetQ menu bar and click the Config button. For now, we'll open the HVAC module and click the New Import Export Config button. This will open this dialog box. The top half of this dialog box is for importing module settings, which we'll be using later. The second half is for exporting module settings. This first button is for exporting the current module settings, which in this case would be the HVAC duct module. The second radio button is for selecting multiple modules. We could use this option at this time, but for this demonstration we'll use the Export All MetQ Module Settings radio button. Next, this dialog box opens. It lets us choose what type of file we want to import or export to. If you check the bottom radio button, the MetQ settings in this drawing will overwrite the default file that loads whenever we check the Load Default Radio button when we open a new drawing. But this time we want to click this radio button instead, which will allow us to write a custom file and save it to the directory of our choice. When we click it, we see that we are presented with a file selection dialog box, which by default will open to the drawings directory. Let's name the file 3D Office Building Settings. Since we click the Save to an INI File Radio button, the file will automatically save to a file with an INI extension. When we return to this dialog box, we simply need to click Export and Exit. Now the file is saved to our hard drive or network. Let's open a new drawing for the second floor. Since this is a new drawing, we are presented with this dialog box that wants to know what type of file we want to use. This time we want to use this file we just created, so we'll need to click this radio button and navigate to the directory where our new file is. Now we simply select our new file and all of the MedQ settings have been loaded for us. Let's check the HVAC module first. We see that the duct size is 36 inches by 48 inches as we left it. It's set to draw 3D duct and the elevation is set to 12 feet. Now we'll check the piping module. We see that it's set to draw in 3D and the weld gap is set to 1 8 inch. Finally we'll check the structural steel shapes module and see that it's also set just like it was in the first floor drawing. Now as you've seen a basic demonstration of this new feature, I'm sure we'll devise new ways to use it to boost your productivity. For more information on how to do this and use this powerful new feature to set up projects, swap individual module settings, and use them to establish company standards, see our Advanced MetQ Settings Strategies video. Thanks for watching.